So this is my like my commercial almost thing. So this one I pack a lot of things like skooma, spinach, tomatoes, mm. and things that I can sell. Mm. But for now, I just I'm just waiting till the rains come so I can get it yes, nicely properly. done. Yes. Mm. How much you can grow in mm. just mm. this mm. space? Yes. And how you can make it an Instagram garden, so an aesthetic garden ah, as well. So this is what, so when you're on Instagram, this is what we're seeing. Yes, I know. Well, you oh, see a few of this, oh, but this is what you will be seeing. A lot more. A lot more. So we start here. I've got a water source. I do rain water oh, irrigation. Okay. So we, I don't know if you've seen, we've got lots of catchments. Okay. So this is my rain water. Okay. And then we get it um, because it's here and a lot of water gets wasted. I've built myself banana patch. Oh. So this is a sweet banana, which is my favorite. Yeah. You can have many bananas. Like ideally, if I was someone who liked cooked bananas, <laughs> I you would don't. have cooked bananas here. You don't. I don't. You but don't like plantain also the fried one. I love plantain, which is ironic. And if I had plantain, oh. I would probably put it here. But I like the idea of a sweet banana because okay. this is actually from Kisi, oh. and it's rare. It's a traditional type of okay. banana. Okay. So from the banana, I have this. Now you'll notice the plastic lining. Yes. This is to hold as much water, water. as I can because this is my Indoma oven. Ah. Yeah. So I'm going to make... A creative use of space. Eh? Exactly. Like I said, it's going to be really fancy. So I'm going to make a place where any wastewater or anything we wash Strip just comes out. into the Ndoma area. And then this will be something else. I'm not sure yet, but they are very nice ideas cooking. Yeah. These two guavas have been here for a while. They are really prolific. And if you see, they already have fruit. Yeah. yeah. So, yes, it's tiny, tiny. Yeah, they, and they are perfect for bees. Like uh -huh. when you come in the morning when they're flowering, full of bees, it's brilliant. <laughs> so this is my composting area. And I've got three sections. This is a fresh pile. So from the kitchen, this is where everything comes. My weeds, this is where they come. If I have extra green stuff that I don't know what to do with, this is where they come. This is my second section. This is my curing area. Okay. So here, things will stay for about a month or two months. If you've watched my Instagram, there's a series I did for uh, 30 days of showing how this stands from, from that, that to this. To this. Oh. So this so is like a time lapse type of thing. Yeah, and I've done it. So this is only it has day. No smell actually. Yes, can if I you see mix a it. Bone? Yeah. <laughs> you can see like kitchen stuff in here. Yeah. Avocado peel yeah. and Pits coconuts, and... but these ones don't break down. Yeah. What they do is I like them because they create air pockets mm. in the compost, which is really nice. It keeps the compost Things, aerated. Yeah. yeah. So this one can stay for okay it depends on this one because this stays for two months and then i'll mm. move it here i'll show you what it turns into but once it's moved these ones come here to cure and then, and then i back. start again so yeah. it does reduce a little bit it's but more, it's, it's like potting soil, soil eh? yeah it's pretty much soil it smells like soil like earth. yep um oh i cover it for two reasons okay. the first reason is to maintain the moisture you don't want your compost to dry. In fact, you water it almost like plants. Yes. When you're turning it, you water it. So I turned mine, um, we turned this, I think the day before yesterday. Okay. So we'll turn it again tomorrow. So once this is done, all nice and finished, all nice and cured, I've got a little sieve. Yep. And you see how I make it convenient? Yeah. So that I don't have to go anywhere else to do this. Um, again, I usually use a spade. But today I've got my trusty stick <laughs> and you just sieve it. Ah, so now you get proper proper. Mm -hmm. You can actually package it and... Oh yeah, but I have such a big piece of land. Yeah, that's <laughs> a good thing. It just goes straight back. Yep. Nice. Now, because there's still some stuff here, there's still bone that hasn't decomposed, there's still stuff that's breaking down. Yeah. What happens is I pick all of this and take it to the first one. <laughs> so it has all this bacteria that it's collected through yeah. the whole Nothing thing. Nothing goes to waste. And it starts up the process. Again, everything just starts up so much faster when you've got, when you've got that, like original like stuff. Like mm -hmm. When you do yogurt. Exactly. Now, come and fill this. <laughs> I'm 
that is what you want. <laughs> so soft. <laughs> so there's a little history with this piece of land. Um, the very first time I came back from studying abroad, I, I asked for this piece of land just to experiment. So I brought trees. I've got lemon trees, I've got coffee bushes. I didn't even know like what I was planting, <laughs> but I just wanted to experiment. So this ended up being my experimental space yeah. and it continues to be my experimental space till today. And this current experiment that I'm doing is uh, square foot gardening. So all these beds that I've built are four feet by four feet. And then you divide it into 16 squares. So each square is a foot square. And the fun thing is, like, if you've got your squares, like that, that's approximately a foot, yeah. you can fit in 16 different plants in that's each true. square. So it forces you to use the space much more efficiently. Now you can decide this square is going to be capsicum. So only one capsicum, capsicum can fit here. So you've got your capsicum. And then you can say, I want carrots here. But you can do 14 or 16 carrots here. Yeah. So you divide it like that. And then you say, so I want um, lettuce. Yeah. You can do four lettuce plants. Yeah. Like yeah. those are already three things you've done. Exactly. <laughs> and you can do this 16 times. And multiples. And multiples. If you want bigger plants like zucchini, yes, you'll read the seed packeting, packet and it'll spacing. say, yeah, it'll say, oh, space this much. But you find that if you squeeze plants, they don't die. They use the space. <laughs> yes. They learn how to use the space. They do. And you're producing three times, four times more food yeah. in less space, which is ideal. And you can add accessories to a box. For example, if you plant beans at the end, you can have a trellis that comes up. Ah, and yeah. so they can climb. <laughs> so they can climb. Or if you plant cherry tomatoes, the same thing. <laughs>